Come on, Nikki. Come on, Nikki. Come on, Nikki. Woo! Only problem is we don't have a net, so we're gonna use a bucket. Nope. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. You got it, honey. Get my Alaska on. Yeah. <laughs> so did we heave two? Yeah, we have two. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Don't lose it. Nice. Woo! One steady wins the race, right? <laughs> That $20 lure came in handy. Yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Ooh. Oh, I see it. I Whoa. See it. Whoa. <laughs> Done. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a. Uh. How big was it? Uh, I don't know. That was a huge. This <laughs> big. <laughs> It's gonna feed us for a week. Jeez. Oh well. Uh, we're at 60 right now. We left Harbor Town Marina today and convinced Kent to take us out for a day sail. Our service appointment starts in about a week for solar and all that other stuff. And instead of paying the expensive marina fees, we thought, why not come here and anchor out for free? As you can tell, it was a uh, very hard day out at sea. Yeah, we lost a fish, a giant fish, and a $20 lure. So we we were drowning our sorrows in caffeine. In caffeine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've done. It's Kent style. Yeah. How do you feel about that that fish we? I'm didn't getting get? tired of losing fish now. <laughs> I'm gonna find some other clients. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because I was thinking I should find another broker. Yeah, one who can give us proper line. <laughs> So they call Fort Lauderdale the Venice of America because of all of the canals. And well, I get the canal part. The Venice of America might be a little bit of a stretch, <laughs> but it is cool. So last time we were passing by a big guy like this, there was one container with six BMWs in it, and then a bunch of containers with bananas, and then some Land Rovers. They look small from here, but they are giant. The dinghy ride in the rain is always good. Just in time. Drop the off, ahead of the squall. We're going flat out. I can't do it, I can't go all the way. <laughs> it's against the rules. I'm not a very good rule breaker. Oh, what a pansy. Oh, there's another boat. I don't want them to get the wrong idea about me. Look, I'm like Superman over here with this thing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Okay, campus. Sweet. Thanks for going out with us. Thanks for the food. Ah. And the coffee. The coffee, great coffee. Yeah. For no fish. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Don't remind me. See you, yeah. Kent. Okay. Bye. Such a nice guy. Yeah. Take us day sailing. Yeah, take us day sailing out for lunch. Well, nice. we took him out for well, lunch, but you know. <laughs> yeah, just to be on board with us. Yeah. It's great to have good people around to help us learn how to sail before we actually officially learn how to sail. Yeah. <laughs> Which happens in a couple weeks. So. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I don't know. There's our friends. Water bug. Yeah, our friends water bug. They have a cool wrap on the side of their yeah. their cat, which you cannot now see. <laughs> Ooh, a little squirrely coming in. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. No problem. <laughs> There she is. Oh, got it. Well done, honey. Thank you. Hook us in. Oh, oh my God. Hi, Cleo. Hi, Kiki. Yeah, you want to have sundowner? Wow. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's sundowner time. We are nice cozy here at Lake Sylvia, which is not too far from just cats at Harbortown Marina 
and not too far from Los Olas. So lots of stuff to do all around this area, which would hopefully be what we do this week is get out, have some fun and enjoy life on the hook here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm coming. Pretty happy. <laughs> That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. says my hair looks awesome. <laughs> Must mean it looks really awesome. Yep. It's a whole pot of manatees. Five or six of them at least. Huh? What do you think about that singer? They're right next to us. This is awesome. Look at them. <laughs> That's so cool. Just like that, they're gone. And we're getting a free show. Yeah, when I tried that, it didn't look anything like that. <laughs> Since you guys are with us, we thought we should do something a little more fun than just sit around the boat and do chores. So instead, we're gonna take the dinghy out and look for a good happy hour. Hope you don't mind running some errands while we're out. Because living in an RV and running errands, like going to the grocery store, is never a big deal because well, you're always in a vehicle, you can park in a parking lot, no big deal. Doing that in a boat, when all you have is a dinghy, and you're new like us, and you're not really quite sure where to park, it's much more of a challenge. Ready to go? Let's put the dinghy down. do not even want to talk about this right now. It's just spaced. Just 100% spaced. I don't know. I mean, I know better. I heard Jason side unclick and I just thought, oh, unclick. And hello, I hadn't even wrapped around the winch. And this is why they tell you to wear sailing gloves when you're a newbie because you do stupid, stupid stuff like that. <sighs> Does it hurt? like a son of a bitch. <laughs> you want to show us? No, because I'm embarrassed. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that was no. all of us. Yes, it hurts. Yep. Ouch. Uh-huh. Wow, it burns. <sighs> Sadly, we threw away all the burn stuff just a couple days ago because it was wildly expired in the first aid kit but we still have neosporin but we're on our way to the store so we'll stock up for the next time that i am an absolute blank idiot it happens to everyone pretty sure it doesn't that was pretty stinking Stupid. <laughs> Woo! That burns. <sighs> Don't pass out. I would toot. No. I don't know if it hurts more. I'm just pissed off that I did it. <sighs> 
is not easy. <laughs> it's much more of a pain in the butt than filling up a car. popped into what says the marina office and it was locked, of course. So I went in and talked to the concierge here at the Hilton and he said that the marina office is actually on Pier 66. So I have a feeling our original plan is gonna end up being scrapped. Finding dinghy parking is kind of an interesting task so far. Um, We've got some great apps and websites that we're using right now, one of them being Active Captain, which shows all the marinas and kind of gives a little bit of detail um, and lists some of the restaurants that will allow you to park as well. One of them is the Southport Raw Bar. It's $10, but the $10 goes towards any food or beverage at the restaurant if you want to put your dinghy there. But the place I want to go for happy hour is like two blocks off of the water. So we're kind of looking for a spot to park the dinghy and walk over. And it's a challenge. So I called the Hilton, asked them, can we park at your marina? Do you have dinghy docking, even if it's for a fee? And they said, sure, no problem, come on over. Now we're just trying to figure out where that is. Water taxi. Yeah. That's the water taxi guy waving. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't see a floating dock at the Hilton Marina unless it's on the other side of the water. Yeah. Me either. This is all commercial that way. Yeah. Alright, and that definitely won't work. Nope. Well, maybe it's just Southport Robar. There's Pier 66. So they said we could park there. That would be an option, but that is the wrong side of the water, which would put us hopping in a cab anyway. That ain't gonna fly. No. All right. I wonder if that's a public dock. No unattended vessels. Oh. Oh, ramp nope. use only. That would be a no. Bummer. How much do you think they're going to charge for this waterfront property? That one there? Oh jeez, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, that's probably why there's not very many free public docks because nobody wants to give away their expensive waterfront property. It stinks for us. Good for them, I guess. Pulled up to the dinghy dock and yes, ten dollars. Ten dollars. And then you've done this before. We have. Yes. So you know how it works. I guess. I mean, we just need a drink before the before the end of the day, right? Yep. It's we, just like ten dollars cash. Just like it. <laughs> Thank in you. Here anyway. yeah. We'll see you in a couple hours. Okay. They're all so nice, and that's the surprising part because so many people come in here and do this, yet they've been friendly every single time. Yep. All right, we're gonna walk to the other bar, if we can make it for happy hour, go to the grocery store, and then we'll, we're forced to come back here and drink a beer, or eat a snack. Something. Probably drink a beer. <laughs> the day I've had, it's definitely gonna be a uh, liquid dinner kind of day. Ah! It's a lot of band-aids. Show us real quick. <sighs> I did the bandages and I think I really messed one of them up. Right? Yeah, because it doesn't quite fit over all of the burn, so it's gonna hurt again when I have to take that off. <laughs> sorry, honey. You're sorry, I'm sorry. I was the dimwit that made the absolutely ridiculous mistake. A few beers later, maybe I'll forget a little. Maybe. All right, it says we're four minutes driving. Let me switch it to walking directions. 
13 minutes. We can totally do that. It's supposed to be a cool farm to table restaurant with, um, they have like a, I have to tell you when I get there, but I think it's almost like a, oh, dinner in the dark or something like that. They call it. And I think it's just because you don't get to choose what you order, but I don't know. <laughs> Find out when we get there. There it is. It's inside the convention center, which is a little scary. And I'm going completely off of reviews. So hopefully it's not a Debbie Downer. And hopefully it's not so fancy they won't let us in with our cooler <laughs> and grocery bags. <laughs> After you. Thank you. It's kind of dead. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a belly up to the bar. Velvet Falernium. I don't know what that is. Oh, sounds cool. How's your addition? That is flatbread, and that is ceviche. There's still time to order more. <laughs> oh, so happy hour. The reason we came here is because I looked it up. It was farm to table. And it is dining in the dark, literally in the dark. So they come out, they get your, you know, any allergies or food specifics, right? Like for us, we would be vegetarian. We don't eat meat, but we eat seafood. So we would tell them that. And then they take you into a dark room and serve you food and you get to kind of have this different experience. Anyway, it sounds interesting. That's what brought me here. That and the fact that there was a happy hour and it is half off food and half off drinks, like all drinks, all wine, all beverages, doesn't matter what you order. And that is rare. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 40 bucks, two fancy cocktails. Two fancy appetizers. Two fancy appetizers, not a whole lot of food. Tasty food, unfortunately, since we don't eat meat, it was mostly meat based. Yeah, so if you're a meat eater, <sighs> yeah. It sounded really good. Yeah, and there was two amazing sounding beers that I really, really wanted, but I showed restraint. Yeah. <laughs> we showed restraint. Yes, so it's off to the grocery store. So we're going to the Publix supermarket. We're going to go straight, straight, straight. Turn left. How many minutes? 13. Right back to where we started. Right back to where we started, yeah. I do have to say that cocktail took down my pain level a little bit. It's yeah, it was good. A good cocktail. Yeah, it was. Really nice. I'd have paid $14 for that cocktail. Any other time but happy hour you would have. Yeah. Pain relieving cleansing spray. More Neosporin plus pain reliever. Maybe I should get iodine in case I really do something extra stupid. I mean, dumber than what I did today. All right, $50 in groceries. Now the half mile walk back to the raw bar. And when I said we might get a beer, I think I lied because they don't really have good beer there. So they maybe- They okay beer, uh, just no craft beer. Yeah, no good beer, but they, <laughs> They do have pretty good food. Yeah, well, they have really decent food for a very yeah. affordable price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant oyster. Assuming there's a wait for the patio? Yeah, there's like a 45 minute wait for outside. We'll do inside. Okay, Thanks. Help yourself, no
I'll go ahead and start it up. That meal was $25, and if you consider the dinghy dockage is free, then it would be $25. Or if you consider we paid $10 for the dinghy dockage, then it was only $15. Yeah. So, downright bargain, half the price of the other place, but we didn't have any drinks. No. Yeah, equally as fulfilling, tasty, mm -hmm. in a whole different way, but I'd say <laughs> definitely better on the pocketbook. Oh gosh, yeah. Let's go, honey. No wake hit it. Pedal to the pedal. Full throttle. <laughs> Going across. Pause for dramatic effect. Oh! Uh, it's, not yeah, it's not very low right now. It must be actual low tide. Okay, I got it. Come on out, kitties. We're home. Come on. <laughs> right, let's go. This rigid inflatable is very heavy. <laughs> it's a beast. Well, we had our fun. Now it's time to get serious. Because we have got a lot of studying to do before our sailing classes. Whew. In two weeks, we've got all these books to read. No problem. No, no. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Right, buddy? Tina's going to learn how to sail. She is. Oh, faking and coiling. I'm reading about trim. I'm reading about lines, which is obviously important. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> oh. <laughs>